in here anyway, so I figure I'll turn you guys on while we continue having this conversation. That store was Say in hi, France, guys. and it, the beer, like, in question was, like, a uh, god. It was, like, fucking Satan or something like that. <laughs> something. That's what it was called. Uh, it, was, it was literally Satan? Is that what you're, you're telling me? You Some, literally drink Satan. Something devil-related, but it was, like, selling, like, oh, it's the strongest beer on the planet, right? And uh -huh. it was just the grossest beer on the planet. What, what yeah, the one shit they have in Greece? We're talking it's about like beer and what the worst thing to drink is. I propose Bud Light Lime. Uso? And yeah. also, that, 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 so yeah, that shit's like fucking roofing tar. Well, to be fair, left and to right. be fair, uh, Sobo, it was a collaborative effort. You said Bud Light. I you said like Bud, Bud Light Lime. That's true. Yeah. It was a group. Yeah. yeah. I, I will. I will. If we're gonna go full hipster bullshit beer from the supermarket, I'll give you that. But. I would then say that hipster bullshit moonshine is worse than hipster bullshit beer. And thereby, have, the worst I, thing you can drink is hipster I bullshit have, moonshine. I think the answer have, is anything out of a mason jar. You pieces of shit. They're jars. They're not <laughs> cups. Get it together. Why does your cup need a lid? I see you so much. I just drank my coffee out of this fucking thing. <laughs> Uh, so I I don't know man I like I figure so I because that I mine figure... is because I have iced coffee so I have to fill it like halfway up with ice to get it to cool down and I need you something do this that big with regular cups too no I need yeah. I need something this big I don't have a cup this big that's it, like so glass it makes, this one. it makes sense if you're like I have iced coffee I put on the lid I shake it to yeah. get the coffee cold quick yeah Boop. makes total sense yeah. but unless you have a reason like that. Fuck. Oh god, we're, we've been invaded by robots, boys. Nice. What do what do the <laughs> robots boys. drink out of EA Cryptic? Tell us. <laughs> Oil cans and butts. Um. What? So really? yeah, dog shit, hipster bullshit, moonshine is the worst thing you could possibly drink. That's what we've discovered in today's stream. I haven't, I haven't had that. I it's figure really you bad. just don't taste anything because the alcohol is like literally burning whatever. You... So here's what happens, just... okay? Because I, yeah, I bought some of this, like, a half yeah. a month ago. Um, because it was my birthday, and I decided I'd be really stupid. And, like, the first thing that happens is it hits your mouth, like, before it actually touches your mouth. And it just burns everything. Everything just begins to burn before the liquid has actually touched you. And then it gets into your mouth. It tastes like asshole. Like, <laughs> if you somehow concentrated asshole flavor into something, this would what it would be. And then everything lights on fire. So you get that horrible taste plus burning going on for a solid, like, five minutes. And it doesn't matter how much water you run. You've just literally licked Satan's butt. So it's really bad. Don't drink it. Don't buy it. It was only $20, though, and I got fucked up. So depending on your build, I guess it could be worth. It was, like, 50%, though. Um, it was really bad. Really, really, really horrible. I don't remember what it was called, or I would shame it on the internet forever. Wow. Um, but hipster bullshit moonshine, don't fucking buy, is real bad. As a matter of fact, don't drink moonshine. It's fucking weird. Stop doing that. You're going to go blind or something else horrible. Uh, Kiwi? What up? How have you been? How's your week gone? Um, I'm getting drunk. Okay. Like cur so currently it's getting better. Yes, gonna start with that. Not a great week. Looking forward to D and D. Um, I do enjoy twelve dollar a bottle Soco. Truth. But I'm not. It's not about the flavor. It's about getting torqued. Am I right? Yeah, I, I mean, I'd prefer to be drinking, you know, nice stuff. But yeah. it, it does the job. So. But sometimes I'm broke and I want to get drunk, so I just mm. drink cheap shit that tastes like not great. But exactly. Yeah. It's not exactly. Satan's butthole, so it's alright. It's also not twenty dollar hipster moonshine, so you're not dying inside right now. Yeah, but the bad thing is, I'm like, I'm buying Soco, and in the store, because I did have a nice bottle of scotch that I drank some of last week, but now I just want more nice scotch. Right, that does become but, kind of a problem. But I could have one nice bottle of scotch or four bottles of Soco. Right, and when it comes to being drunk, I feel like. I'm at a point where I want quantity rather than quality. <laughs> Seems boxed legitimate. Boxed wine. You need to get yourself some boxed wine. That's never going to help. Don't ever do that. <laughs> okay, so real quick. Mm. Boxed wine story. Most quantity you can give for your dog. Boxed wine story in 30 seconds. Got it. was at a New, New Year's Eve party. Right. Giant, giant camping festival. 
five day concert, all drinking box wine. Time out. Really, time out. Really, yeah. We're gonna What's we're that? gonna put a pause on the timer. Where was camping trip? Is like this Ohio was in, or New Zealand? New Zealand. Okay. All right. Good. Continue. This is a place where all the drunk university students congregate sure. each year. Gotcha. So what happened was there was a festival, mm -hmm. and I was drinking box wine on that day because why not? So I snuck in a three-liter cask that's a little bit less than a gallon. Yep. Took it out of the box, grabbed the sack, was like, I want to drink this in the concert because it's a full day concert. It's like from midday to like 4 a.m. Right. Or something. So right. I'm like, I need a lot of shit to get drunk. Right. So I'm like, oh, God, they're patting down everyone. How am I going to get this in? I know. Butt pad. Butt pad. Walk up to the security guards like, hey, guys, I'm fine. They're like, we need to frisk you. So they frisk me, and they pat me down, and they pat down my ass. And he looks at me, and he's like, gives me the nods and sends me on through. So <laughs> He assumed you just had that juicy booty. Yeah, I, I just and had not that the actual booty. juicy no. booty. And no problem. All right, no good story, problem. Kiwi. That's a solid fucking story. So Kiwi's a criminal, uh, and mm -hmm. someone should probably arrest him. Um... Don't say that. I'm on an Air Force base. Oh, God, no. Please don't arrest him. I mean, it's Air Force guys, though. Come on. You'll be all right. Uh, is Rini on? What have you been doing this week? It's not like they have planes right there to fly him back to New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they're going to export him? Is that what's going to happen? They're going to deport no. you in like 18 seconds flat. It's going to be insane. No, no, no. They're not deporting. <laughs> they're exporting. He's got more fucking alcohol they're than They're going to sell him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So, Zernian, what have you done this week, other than uh, not play Spator? I have actually been playing Spator. Have you? What level are you? Like, level 17. Yo, level hit me 16, up, dude. I'm just, I'm just, like, grinding, like, uh, lockboxes or whatever they're called. Are you? Did Slicing. you make it past the fucking droid bridge into droid land on Coruscant? I think I might have skipped you. I think you did. But I didn't see any broken bridge. I'll fucking show you. I think you I just, think you're like what what zone are you in? Are you in gangster land zone? I'm in the black sun area. Yeah, yeah, gangster land zone. So you're like yeah. one zone ahead of me. We should play, dude. That'd be dope. We can play. We can you play just later. keep grinding younglings for XP, don't you? Pretty you much. Son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Killed all the younglings. Yep. He's a real piece of shit. This one. So but, you're not too far off from getting your ship, is Rinian. Good things are gonna happen for you. You're gonna get to fly around the galaxy. You get a ship at level twenty. You get a ship. No, you get a ship when you finish Coruscant. Or get like 80% of the way through Coruscant. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Do space missions. Dude, Paul, there are uh, <laughs> fighter battles now. Have you seen these things? No. They're fucking ridiculous, dude. Oh, right. They're fucking dumb. It's like a PvP queue. I mean, they're not dumb, dumb. They're cool. So it's exactly what you would think it would be. Uh, it's the battlefront fly around fighting stuff with no landing and, like, objective control points on the mouse and keyboard. But the sensitivity is to 11. So, like, you move your mouse and you're just flipping around infinitely. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> God, what, are the, what are the buttons in WoW that make your mouse go, like, retarded? I don't fucking know. Are they, like, upside down and do, like, swirls? And they uh, like... it's like page up and page down. Yeah. <laughs> so what I else, remember, man? I figure that I figured that out, uh, during Ulduar. Nice. First time I ever ran Ulduar, I was just fucking like flying around the entrance waiting for my guild to come. I was just, I figured out to do circles. I was like, oh! You're the worst player of all time. Um, other than that, just hanging out? Being uh, a yeah, lamer? I got these awesome fucking shot glasses God. for my sister for my B day. I tried so hard to segue into that. Jesus Christ. Is that Can a Batman shot glass? Okay, cool. We saw that one. What's the next one? There's we saw that one before eight. we turned the stream on. Get the fuck out of here. There's eight. Eight so, Batmans. Here's the other Batman one. It's hard to tell. Ooh. Yeah, it's, all right, sure. That's look, that looks super dope. That's super good. Look, it's even got, like, Cartoon Joker. There's the Superman. Best one, I'll, by far, the clearly. Gross. Clearly the best shot glass of all of them. Just smash that one. The Fuck Superman that one. Personally. Number one superhero guy. This is the Joker one. Nice. It's pretty good. There's eight, but I'm not going to show you them all. What is that? Two-Face? Two yeah. 
but uh. Who's that wearing makeup like a prostitute? I have decided that. What? Not, <laughs> uh, it's decided. a Swedish band song. Any anytime you assholes roll a one, I am gonna take it's a shot from face. my fat one. Anytime the we roll a one, go. guys, I need twenty d twenties from everyone. No, you fucking assholes. <laughs> All right, uh, Paul. You did anything fun yeah, this week a, other than BFK Bananas? There's a Swedish band that's called <laughs> Quit Your Day Job, and they have a song about Two-Face, and the lyrics go, Who's that wearing makeup like a prostitute? Two-Face. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Good story. Uh, I did so, I did a lot of haunts in Heroes of the Storm. Uh, right. They just reset ladder, so now I'm in placement matches, which are going awful. Great. Uh, <laughs> like... Really fucking awful. Great. Like I had a positive record, but I'm pretty sure I'm like ten and twelve. Nice. Or, or two 12 and twelve, and sorry, in placement. Oh. Not mm. in like I, I lost ten more than one. And it's it's been it's been awful. Why are you so bad? Uh, I, like I'm not <laughs> though. Mm. On you. Because mm. I, I see like, I okay, see one like, like, factor amongst these teams. Come on, Paul. We've had this conversation like, before in League of Legends. Okay, I understand like, that your team is horrible. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not perfect. But okay. if I'm like highest on minion damage, highest on hero damage, like almost doubling XP gain. Gotta do better, man. Everyone else. Then I'm like, uh, like maybe if some other people. Don't like, you I'm talk to me about the world of the mobiles. game at all? Yep. Where, where's your but siege damage? Yep. We... Listen, man. I know, I know the feel, dude. Like, I played oh, League of Legends. You kept getting killed, yeah, because you're ganking me the whole time, and you guys are literally just like sitting in your safe lanes and not doing fuck all. Like, what? It's... A good old circle jerk. No, but you died though. I'm like, okay. Beep boop, circle jerk. <laughs> <laughs> this is the. Wow. Uh, so, uh, this is the world yeah, of Mobus. I'm back to. I'm back to like everyone who says something shitty is like. Muted. Just muted. Done. Yeah. Uh, and. I'm glad, you, then you just I'm play glad as you hard as you can. that in this D&D campaign, because I would have been muted long ago. He actually did. You're, you've been muted this whole time. He <laughs> actually gets a text-to-speech thing that pops up, or a speech-to-text thing, rather, that pops up whenever you talk. He hasn't heard you. So, so, so I'm like a cryptic. No, you're like, you're like a robot, <laughs> but a text I robot. I am talking. And I did a... I, I had a similar story to Kiwi once for, like, a... Like a festival. Mm. We were uh, thirty like, second festival story. Like a, is that what we're doing? Yeah. All right, let's go. It was like a multi day festival thing, so yep. there's like yep. a camping ground with it. Mm. Same. Uh, yep. And they're like, you know, you can bring some alcohol because like it's gonna happen, but like w within reason. So you, can, I think like <laughs> what was technically allowed was like a bottle of something or like ten beers or something per person. So, uh, we got there with, like, two cars full of dudes, uh, and, like, they set up the tents, and uh, we, like, draw straws, and I took the shortest one, so I had to carry, like, a dolly. That, like, that's a 30-second story. High, high as almost myself, with just cases of beer. Wow. Uh, <laughs> and I had to get that shit past the security somehow. <laughs> so, in the end... You're a big end, fucking criminal. Just, I'm just like, oh, fuck it, you know? Uh, and they're like, they stop me. So they're like, uh, is that is that all your beer? <laughs> and then I go like, yes. <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's too much, you have to drink it all right here. So then, then I drank a beer with those guys. And then they're like, oh, fuck it, fuck it, you can go. They just let you in? Funny. That's awesome. Yeah, they just let me in. Fucking boy, no, no, like I talked to him, like, hey, man, like, I drew the shortest straw, like, there's no way I'm bringing a dolly full of beer <laughs> with, in, like, an amount that is not humanly possible to drink the entire weekend. Of course I'm getting it for the entire group. Just don't be a dick. <laughs> so That's funny. Our, our campsite, they, it was free game, like, any booze in there. It was just at the concert. You, you couldn't bring it in. But campsite was, oh my god, it was yeah. a shit show. Oh yeah, like the, the concert ground, you can bring anything in. But... So, oh wait, the concert, you can bring anything in? Oh, you, you couldn't. Yeah, yeah. That was what it was for me. So, quick another 30 seconds. They, they try to sell you shit, like, 
ten bucks yeah. you got. Alright, I'm exactly. timing you because Paul was a solid like okay, eighty fine, seconds fine. earlier. Ten second ten second nah, story. You, you got thirty second stories, it's fine. Okay, fine. I'll pad it out a bit. So right. I did the greatest thing. You guys need to do the greatest thing. This was at the same concert. You guys know a beer bong. Do you guys know what a pressurized beer bong is? Indeed. Oh. I did that and it's amazing. You basically get a beer bong, it's yeah. all sealed up, you yeah. pump it up with the bike pump, mm. you release the valve, and all the beer goes and you right get down a beer system. shot right into your butt. It's amazing. It's like it's if you did it the other way, you could have an enema that came out your mouth hole. It's pretty good. It's that amazing. Sounds really, that sounds terrible. Nah, listen, it's the best way it's, to get a lot it, of beer into you very quickly. And it gets you very drunk. I don't know how. Maybe it goes straight to your colon. I don't know. Could do. Right in the liver. <laughs> hits you <laughs> right in the liver. That sounds awful. Nah, it's super good. You have to try it. It's yeah, it's the best. Great. You should it do it. It is actually great. Yeah. One time for your mind. All right, great. Good story, guys. That was a 45-second story, Kiwi. You guys suck at 30-second stories. Hey, um, you, you took up at least 15 seconds, so my part was 30 seconds. Truth. Cryptic, have you done anything fun or interesting this week? Rather than slept. continue being a robot? Probably. Because that sounds always interesting. Is uh, he doing it right now? No, you're good now. Oh. Oh, you're good. For, for now. Um, so I haven't just... slept since the last new blurb. Nice. Good times. Yeah. Uh, Doesn't sound like great times. It's amazing times, man. No. So much free time to do shit. Yeah, but also much tired, though. I've, only, oh, I, yeah. I've slept, like, probably 15 hours or so in the last four or five days, and I'm pretty happy with that. I'm actually pretty fucking tired right now. I was going to just straight up say, we're not doing this, but then I got an extra large mason jar full of coffee. And then Paul showed up. And, uh... No, no, Paul didn't. No, it was actually because I had an extra hour to like just sit around and do nothing because Paul's an asshole and doesn't show up on time. Um, all right, well, good, fine, fuck you then. Um, sure. So, what did we do last week, nerds? Made a plan. We made a plan. We didn't though, did we? Because I specifically said make a plan, which meant also. Can we talk about how racist my computer is right now? The two Canadians are not Greyface. The two guys living in America right now. Greyface. And yes. me, also yeah. Greyface. Strange. Canada, we're not saying that we're the cleaner yeah. of the country. Such so separatist we're... bullshit. Our hat is clear. This is ridiculous. Dude, who the fuck doesn't take good care of their hat? For real. For real fucking questions. Um, alright, so what happened last week, boys? Other than not making a fucking plan, which we'll get to about why your DM is pissed at you. <laughs> I obliterated someone. So yeah, we uh, we went to the church for the priest dude uh -huh. uh, to find their shit. Uh, when we got there, uh, like we we got there and then like out of the store came like the Mexicans that just robbed us. And by Mexicans I mean black hand guys. True. Uh, and uh, then we fucked them up and yep. then apparently they had dogs. Yep. Uh, with like people riding them. Yep. But then it didn't turn out to be dogs with people riding them. It turned out to be halfling dog dars. True. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which, we're gonna fuck us up, but then Sobo pushed out because uh, he thought the CR was too high. Uh, Guys, 7 CR above. <laughs> it's a little high. It was a little <laughs> high. I'm not going to lie. But it's not even that the and CR then, was necessarily too high. It was also that Kiwi was throwing for some reason. Dude, I <laughs> wanted to kill the dogs. I was like, they're just dogs. If I shoot them off, if I kill the dogs, they can't charge. They're little halflings. We can kite them. I think that's reasonable. I didn't realize they were armored uh, super dogs. They are armored super dogs. <laughs> Turns out they were dog dogs. Uh, but, well, uh, why bad? After that. We got the shit from the temple, got to the priest, got paid mad dollars. Mad yeah. dollars? Like 1k? Yeah. Yeah. When he's like, well, I'm not gonna pay you fucks. And then gives us all 1k, and I'm like, alright. Okay. Uh, met this other elf bro, who uh, is scripting, uh, who is some kind of fucking sword wizard. Sword wizard, yep. Uh, and uh, then sword wizard potential we, robot. 
existential robot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pots and pans, man. Yeah. But then we were supposed to make a plan to get across. Like we kind of did some preparation uh, before we were gonna get across, but then we were supposed to make a plan to get across, and I feel like we didn't really flesh it out. Yeah. Which. Uh, we have six different options for how. Okay, so in between that and this, which we're gonna get to, you guys also hired seven fighters, uh, two oh, yeah. demolishers, which are just these two dudes that like to blow shit up. Um, <laughs> hired some rednecks. And you hired Chris no, no, Robinson no. and his brother. You hired twenty six <laughs> farmers, most of which are now armed in your little battalion. Um, and then the yeah. question that we ended on was, how the fuck are we going to get out of this city, being that it's all, you know, sieging right now? And we didn't come up with that. But we did come up with, what, like, nine options on how to fuck up the barricade once we or blockade, rather, once we did actually get out. But, um, yeah, it's like three hours to midnight, and you guys still have no fucking idea how you're getting out of the city. But everyone's supposed to be there at midnight to go. So, like, there's yeah. a bunch of just, like, randoms floating around right now. Well, uh, we can just run for it. Uh, we talked about in the, like off off screen. We talked about like getting a cart and oh. then like you know putting their shields up and then like running that shit fast, like really fast, like a fucking tank. Yep. Uh, uh, so that that's part of a plan, but sure. they're still gonna see us and raise alarm. So I'm kind of suggesting that. People who are stealthy, aka not me at all, uh, could maybe like sneak across somehow and kill like the snipers that are watching. So lieutenant's like, uh, yeah, but it's a big open empty field. So I don't know how they're gonna sneak through. I can get under the field, or I can send your people under the field. Yeah, but you can't. You can't go the whole way. It's like a mile, right? Roughly it's like from a, here to the trees. No, it's a, like half a mile, a mile from here to the blockade. Well, it's like a it half happen? mile from here to the tree line. How long is it going to take me if I'm moving it? Well, not right here because you're in the middle of the city still. But 30. from the edge of the city to the tree line, it's like half a mile. It, if I'm moving at 35 feet a turn, how long is it going to take me? A while. It's, you got to get like a kilometer. All right. Well, I mean, a I little can just more than I can a shape shift and kilometer. just fly. You could do that. And then be over there. And I mean, I can... like, you could get it in 20 minutes. You could burrow across this thing. It, it, it's going to take you, like, you know, probably fucking 9 or 10 minutes of it to get across. But you could get there. Um, like, that's a thing that you could do. You could you could burrow it. If you wanted to cast it once, maybe twice. Depending on how long of time you actually have into the ground. Or you could fly over. Whatever. But he's just saying that, like, sneaking through the open field probably isn't going to work very well. I mean... I could also just cast Daylight on the opposite side of the city, which we're going, and that'll draw their attention over there. Yeah, probably, but like... Probably not if they're remotely organized. Like, it would, but it's almost too far, you know what I mean? Okay, well, I mean... I because they have, they have a blockade on one side of the city and a blockade on the other side of the city, and, like, it's not that far away, but for the okay, information well, to travel... Okay, let's look at it this way. If, uh, okay, my camera's over here. If these sure. are the blockades, yeah. and we're going to go right here. Let's well, see there's, go there's actually a map here that you can look at, too. Uh, okay. That I've drawn up for you. Zoom out. I'll find it, and then I'll shift I thing s- for you. That is, I see this the skillipede. Here it is, the right here. The Hulking Dragon. I heart grandma. <laughs> Alright, so this... Alright. Hold on, I'll give you another shitty blockade. This is roughly what you're looking at. Yeah. Okay. And so let's let's say this. It's not quite we're, like this on this. We're side. looking to go like this, like right here. We're looking to leave and run to the forest. Sure. So you guys actually want to go out like the side again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what if I were to cast daylight over here, like closest to where we are, but like further enough from us that it kind of brings their attention over there and not to us. Or we can do another step further and go this way and have daylight going that way. I mean, that's up to you guys. I'm not yeah. gonna. I'm not gonna have this conversation with you guys. <laughs> like, your plan is up to you. Did you and do? Can I cast daylight? I can't daylight help you business. with it in any way. So, this is all up to you. That, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm gonna be really shitty 
with whatever kind of stealth mission we try to pull off before we try to go. If you just want to go, like, I'm up for it. But eventually we just need to go. Yeah. Well, it's the plan really is for sneaking, it's either I get across and fuck people up with my tree. Or... Watch Can your tree even, get there with you? What was I mean, that explosion? I don't what? think actually. Someone. But uh, I can get over there and I can do like fucking call lightning and just give their attention that way. Yeah. Most people are. So, uh, so here's the deal, Israelian. Lieutenant's bringing this to you again. If you go out the side from here to there, you're probably not going to bump into anything in the in the actual field itself. But when you get to the top end, there's probably going to be at least a couple people waiting in that tree line ready to shoot. On top of that, you also have patrols in the actual wood. So, like, lighting one bit of the wood on fire, people are still going to see you going across the field. You know what I mean? Like, if anything, you're going to draw more eyes in that general direction, and people are probably going to end up seeing you. Well, then I have no solution to your problem. Okay. So you guys are just going to start setting up a cart with shields on it? Yep. And just, I like, mean, try to I battle could... cart it? Pretty much. With, like, a tree leading the way, pulling the cart with all the people on it? With, like, a tank sort of situation? Uh, he'd probably be it's like an APC. It, we have, like, but... shields in front, right? Sure. So you have a tree APC. We're gonna go really fast, though, I'm telling you right well, now. Well, I think... I, I'm gonna I say think... it's uneven terrain out here. Sl slight modification. <laughs> slight modification. Tree at the back pushing. Sure. Shield guy at the front blocking every single arrow, right? Just that doing warden bullshit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like what Tobo just said, like going warp speed, may not be the greatest idea with the shitty ass card. Yeah, because if it's a cart loaded down with a bunch of people, it is uneven terrain. Like, it's gonna be cloud car fucking explosion. <laughs> Could be quality though. <laughs> All right. I mean, we could try it. It'd be pretty bravery, but I'm, I'm sensing clown car explosion. All right, quality. So you guys are going to try to go out the northwestern-ish end of the city with a cart and just try to fucking bum rush it, basically, and just absorb as much of it as you can. Fuck it, if they see you, they see you. You just want to get out of taking damage line. Well, uh, I have... I am stealthy, but I It is the plan from there to stealth. go from there straight to the city, or straight to the blockade, rather? Or are you going to float in the woods for a little while? What's what's after that? Uh, like, if we're just bum-rushing them, then it's going to raise, like, a shit ton of alarms, so we should probably, like... Or either just, like, keep going, and then, like, circle around, and then come from the south to the blockade. Which would take some yeah. time. To get around. But it'll take some time, but, right. you know, like, if if they see, like, a fucking APC going across, they won't be like, oh, it's, it's probably nothing. Uh, everyone go back to sleep. Right. Like, they're gonna be... On so, the the, so the initial idea was to solve that if we're doing APC rush that you guys came up with was instead just to camp in the fucking woods. Take out a couple of patrols as they come around and then harass the tent or harass the blockade for a day or two so that they don't know when you're coming in. They I, uh, might also think we are, like, um, just a supply caravan going out the weakest point. Right. This is actually Kiwi's build. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if harassing them will uh, actually work all that much, because it'll just put them on higher alert. Yeah, but they'll be dead. Well, the uh, idea is that you... you try to keep them awake for multiple periods. Basically, you turn the siege on them. Only it's more of a harassy siege so that they're awake and afraid. They don't know when the attack's coming. And then it gets quiet one night and the attack shows up. I mean, I'll do it. I'm just not super into this one. Well, so that's that's what we need, right? Before we set off, we need a... I, we have need? the first part of the plan. We need the second part of the plan. First part of the plan is bum rush through with an APC. Second part is are we heading straight for the fort after that? Are we going to attack from a weird angle after that? Or are we going to hang out in the woods for a day or two? What are we doing? Well, it's again, because I'm not very useful, like, skirmishing either. Like, right. I'm good in a straight-up fight. Okay. I'm good at everything. <laughs> uh, Wait, like, sure. 
And I'm in it, and but we have like some farmers and shit too. Like, they're gonna fucking die if we try to kill these bandits that are actually armed. <laughs> okay, so the plan is then just get there as quickly as we can. I I I feel like that's a better plan. Okay, do we want to go out the western side then to just go <gasps> up the road? Dude, we, yeah, if we go on the road, then we could go warp speed, right? You could, it's yeah. A road. yeah. Like, is the road all right? Yeah. I mean, it's potholy, but you'll be fine. You wanna do that? Well, like, reinforce the wheels. I, I really feel like I have nothing much to contribute to a plan usefully. I feel like Ezrinian and EA Cryptic have the most to contribute. I mean, yeah. I can cast Obscuring Mist on this. Cryptic, you're a robot. Also, did your camera flip? It did. Oh, okay. Just make sure I'm not losing my mind. Shit's crazy. Alright. I said, I have obscuring mist. Okay. Yeah, we heard that part. That's good. We yeah. that. Does that Does that follow you? It's cast on me. Alright. The spell itself right. says that it's stationary, but it is cast upon me. So, that I can cast it whenever the arrows are flying through the air. Alright, it doesn't matter, even if it is difficult terrain, my tree can ignore it, and I can make the card ignore it. Can well. you? Because I can cast Feather Step Mass, which makes everybody ignore difficult terrain. Okay. Well, that could work. I mean, but the point is, is that being on the road is still a more direct line to the city, or to the blockade, right? So if we're going as quickly as possible... And we don't give a shit about raising their alarm. Going from here to there, or down the road, is still the faster way to do it. Unless we're intending on hanging out in the woods or attacking from a weird angle. Yeah, if we're just getting there, hopefully before they're well, ready. We're, we're let's blessing take, them. We're blessing let's, let's take a vote then. All right, so we'll, right. you count as the general guy or lieutenant, whatever the fuck he is. Okay. Who here wants to blitz them? Raise your hand. Me. <laughs> To open up full sky. Uh, yeah, he raises his hand. I, I'm like halfway up. I'm like, uh, anyway, there's no fucking half assing this. Do you want to blitz them or not? Apathy it is, is death. It's hardly so. half assing this. No, Kiwi, because you there's five people in this call, and that's Look, what makes it so good. If rock monster democracy it, works very different from tree speaker democracy. We are, uh, we're allowed to vote, vote multiple times where I come from. God. And half vote? Yeah. <laughs> it's all allowed. Alright, Kiwi's vote doesn't... So, well, you are now playing two NPCs. Sounds like truest democracy. Alright. You're free to them. even vote as many times as you like. Well then, <laughs> me and Cryptic would probably... You want to do the... What do you call it? Strand, right? The well, creep and hide in the woods for a night first. or two? Yeah. We can... Any, that way we can get our spells back and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, Kiwi, we, are you we gonna just half go, vote we, again? We don't need to use your spells until we actually get there. So yeah, it's 2-2, two, two, Kiwi. It's up to you. I half vote for the blitz, and I do not vote for the other okay, one. Okay, well then we're blitzing. Boom. Two and a half yeah. against two. We won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, right. accomplish. just, just, just accomplish. I can, I can make my tree move at 80 per turn, and he gets the run fee, which means he can move uh... 480? No, because it's times 5, right? Alright, so are we taking mm -hmm. the road then? And just Pretty blitzing sure. as quickly straight in as we can? It's going to be yep. very fast. With the, with the ABC. Alright. Yeah, so, so it's going to be 400 a turn. It's good. Cool. It's really good. Um, Alright, so... Yeah! So you guys start constructing, and you guys are agreeing. You're going out the west side. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right, just yeah, to be it's, it's super to be clear, the the on the right. road, with the cart, and then you're going straight to the blockade, from that point, are you going straight into the fortress? Are you attacking the huts? What are you doing? So we have part two and part one and part two. We need the final bit. I, I haven't seen the fort at all, so for me, it's just, we'll see. 
He he drew you up a battle plan last week, or a general scheme from what your scouts have seen. Basically, yeah, right. there's the the road, and across that road, there's a wall slash fort uh, where most of their men are stationed. And then on the outside, there are like nine or ten little huts that kind of dot the side of the fort, where presumably people, you know, have sex and whatever else people do in huts. Uh, I asked them if this if the scout has noticed if they have any particularly large animals. Horses and stuff. That's about Horses it. are pretty large. They are pretty large. They're actually also, I exactly think, large. I think Kiwi died. No, I'm That's still here. Oh, your camera turned off. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I have no idea why. It was a strange moment when Skype decided hmm. to be a piece of shit. And on that day, no man was surprised. So, are we charging the fort? Do we have some sort of way that you guys want to crash a wall? Do you want to just drive the fucking APC and then have the Trant jump off and slam into that shit? How are we doing it? Charge it. Is that Biggie Jiggles had some shit in the wall, right? There have been rumors yeah, about it. I just time. want to lock it in. I need time to break the wall down. Not time! I have to cast spells to bring the wall down. Then you, it takes a fucking one round to do that. Uh... Oh, that might be true. I thought the spell I was looking at was 10 minute cast time. <clears throat> when were you ever gonna get 10 minute cast time? If you guys when were I was outside. burrowed under the fucking ground, or flying. <laughs> you can still do that though. You can still fly, and start casting, and then we show up with the fucking APC, cause no one's gonna look at a fucking bird. If there's an APC, That's a good point. But he doesn't become a bird, he becomes a terrifying no, 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 medium-sized no, no. moss I, monster that's no, no, flying no, 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 no. I become a small-sized, literal leaf that looks like a catfish. Like, I have a leaf with whiskers. Mate. Ah, uh, is that a Pokemon? I'm pretty sure that's a Pokemon. I feel like that would definitely catch someone's attention. Like, maybe they wouldn't just start shooting at it instantly, but if I saw a leaf floating around with whiskers that's, like, the size of my head, I'd probably look... Because small size is not, like, you know, this big. It's like, like a, a fucking hobbit or a cat. It is. That's right, a big so fucking you know, leaf with whiskers. These are look if you saw a blind cat. It's like a palm frond with whiskers floating in the fucking air. Like, I feel like I would look at that. You know? Oh, yeah, we're going, are we going at night, right? Is that the plan? Yeah, it's, they're fucking well, humans. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, what do you guys Yeah, you guys are going at midnight right now. Okay, yeah. Like, that everyone's meeting up here at midnight, presumably to leave. Um, where do we land on Flurry of... Uh, blows versus rapid shot. Kind of counting feet wise. Okay. We did it. Depends on the feet. I'm yeah. going to take them. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Well, we didn't decide to change uh, anything. We're just keeping it by the book. The question was if oh. Flurry of Blows counts for feet requisites as rapid shot. Because you would never have rapid shot and Flurry of Blows because they don't work like that. And some rogue feats do that sort of thing and blah 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 blah. And we decided no. Because it doesn't state it directly, so fuck it. Alright, fair enough. Then I will ignore this whole entire thing, because fuck. Standing feats on useless shit that I can't use. Truth. Um, so yeah, what's, our, what's the build when we get there? What are we doing from the... So we, we figured out how to get to the tree line. We figured out that we're going directly to the fort afterwards. We get to the fort. Are we attacking the fort? Are we attacking... The huts, are we setting outside the fort and setting shit up? Or are we just going to say YOLO, we'll figure it out when we get there? Attacking the fort. Okay. Uh, Azrinian, if you're, like, unsure you can get through the wall, then maybe the, like, the, our sappers can do that shit. Sure. Like, show up, turn the cart sideways, have them hop out, set up the bombs while you protect them for a couple seconds. Yeah. That could work. Like the terrorists. And then, then, like, instead of blowing the wall, you can, like... Because they had, like, some guard towers in there, right? There are, there are guards that live in... There's a barracks inside the wall. And there are, okay. like, guards on top of the wall, but there's no, like, tower towers. There's just oh, a okay. wall. Never mind. Um, right. well... Like, I like, I like most of this plan. Okay, okay so what's going to happen, then, is... We're going to bum rush them. I'm going to fly over the wall, attack the barracks... 
you guys are going to break down the wall with the sappers. Yep. Okay, the barracks is in the wall. You do know that, right? Oh, it's inside the wall? Yes, the wall is a fort. And inside that wall, there is a barracks and, a you know, guards and 250-ish men. You mean past the wall or inside? No, I mean literally the wall is a fort. It's just a long, tall fort with, in which there are bunk beds that people sleep in. As in inside the actual brickwork of the thing is where most of the people that work on the wall stay, at least when they're on duty. Hmm. So we're going to basically slide in with the APC protect the sappers for a couple seconds, blow a hole in the wall, and then just charge in. Fight them in choke points on the inside. Mm -hmm. Try to make, because it's 30 versus a bunch, so... This sounds like a good Clash of Clans attack. Does it? Anyone's ever played that game? My little brother does, and I think I've seen it a couple of times. It's what you do. There's, like, walls, and you just throw in dudes with bombs to blow... It, whatever. It's a good Doesn't build. Matter. It's a good build. I mean, it's not good, but it's a build. I mean, it's a build. Yeah. Hey, it, it worked for the orcs against the humans, right? Truth. Mm -hmm. Truth. If only that stupid wizard wasn't there on his horse. Now, I have a question. What do you think would be would help my tree knock the wall down better? A fucking bison-looking motherfucker or a large boar? The way I'm understanding it, your tree's not going to really be knocking the wall down all that much. Okay, we're just going to literally blow a hole. They're literally just going to put a bomb on that bitch and blow it up. Well, all right, I'm good unless with you want to knock it down more. I mean, he's going to probably have to then, knock it down a bit to get inside, because it's not going to blow a perfect hole for probably him, more Whatever is left. that's literally a battering ram. Yeah. Would shape it for whatever is left. But the tree can get in. He'll just have to, like, you know, move some shit, and it's going to be really tight for him and awful. Uh, but yeah. Just wood shape it. Alright, so that's our build. That's what we're going with? Yeah. Okay. I, I huddle everyone around, and we go, like, 3, 2, 1, YOLO, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> that's our battle cry. The Blitzkrieg is uh, yeah. assembling. So, yeah, you guys go to we the. Get everyone helmets with 50 uh, spears. You guys get to basically your westernmost point of safety, and all the guards are like, these motherfuckers are fucking and crazy. Uh, but you start setting up a cart, you know? You get... We'll, we'll say that everyone can cram into one like a fucking clown car. Um, it's a big fucking cart, you know? The first rule of Fight Club is, like if something goes not wrong talk with about Fight like Club. then we all go down together. It's fine. Yeah. We just got a follower, but unfortunately my CLR browser was below my actual thing, so I didn't see it. Sorry, whoever that was. Um... The yeah, so you guys start just building a big fucking armored cart. You take some of their shields, I'm guessing, the shields you've given to the farmers. Yeah, and we get like whatever if they have like a spare door somewhere. Sure, and you just start like constructing this bitch. So in two out, you you do everything you can in three hours to build a fucking big APC, and you just start I mean, cramming. I mean, all that has to do is like stop the arrows until we get there. Sure. Like, I'm not I'm not planning to ride this in battle. No. But if it stops the arrows, then we get there. I mean, it's it's all right. If it stops some arrows yeah. before we get there. It's a it's a matter of like you know quantity, not quality, right? It's gonna stop probably most of the arrows, maybe all the arrows, but probably most. Um. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So. Uh. Yeah. You guys are all kind of working away on that. I'm guessing everyone's helping. Getting everything set up, just kind of hanging out, building the thing, nice. doing all the shit, talking to people. Cool. Um, so, about an hour to launch. Um, I don't know. Let's say Rock Monster. You spot yeah. uh, Drungor floating around the camp, just kind of like sitting in one of the corners, um, having a chat with the lieutenant. Um, Drungor being that eight foot tall cat monster from yeah. the arena. Also, Kiwi, you are monster. frozen. You are frozen on my screen with the most bland look on your face. It's beautiful. I don't know. I'm I'm moving around. Is it no, doing anything? No. <laughs> all right. Here, here we go. It's all right. Me, uh... It's all right. It's perfect. We'll just leave the screenshot for what, a minute. What about that? Did that fix it? You're now a swirling ball. Oh. Okay. It's fine. Oh no. Well, we're going on break in like eight minutes, anyways. We'll fix it then.
Um, okay, yeah. So he's he's talking with the dude? Yeah, he's okay, talking with I, I stroll... You know what? I'm not going to stroll on up. I'm going to roll stealth, Sobo. Okay. I'm going to stealth on up. Okay. Because I have abilities that my guys can sometimes use. Sure. You have abilities that your guys can use. Yeah. Some would call those skills. Whatever. (laughs) Stealth plus ten. Sure. No, no, no. They're ability monkeys. (laughs) Don't be racist. You're a fucking racist. Okay. Oh, you're back, Kiwi. You're back. Am I? Awesome. Hey, Kiwi! Mighty 15. Alright, so you sneak. Ish. I want to give it an air shot. Sure, like you get with an earshot, and you you're you were being pretty sneaky. Um, I mean, yeah, they're just kind of talking about the battle plan. Um, the cat's not really saying much; he's just kind of nodding. Uh, roll me a perception check. Okay, I think that's a plus twelve. Let me see. Okay, yeah, he's just kind of nodding. Um, and you hear him say, "And my pay." Uh, but other than that, they're just kind of talking about. All right, I, I just I just walk on up then and join the conversation. Oh, to take the pay to be a good person. Huh? You just walk um, up to him. What? I just walk up, trying to join the conversation. Just. Like, oh yeah, I yeah, mean, I'm just enjoying the conversation. The lieutenant looks at you. The cat, kind of ignores that you're there. I'm like, hey, fuck's Catman do doing here? It's gonna help us storm the keep, as it were. I oh, yeah. uh how much is he getting paid? Uh why? Cause I want to know how much I'm getting paid. Uh we didn't really discuss a price with you. I thought the idea was that uh you guys were gonna help us here and then we were gonna, you know, once we've reclaimed our city, help you guys go fight that dragon. Is, how how high up the pay grade is this guy? I mean, he's the lieutenant of the ghetto military they've set up for the city right now while it's being sieged and there's like 1,200 people left. Because a lieutenant is like the base level of officer, I think. Right. Is this? Are you meaning this to be like, this guy is like the main guy in charge? Or no, 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 like no, I mean one like, of the underlings? like he's a lieutenant. Okay. Then he's I'll be warrior. like... He's, a, a he's an officer, but he's not like... Okay. You know, the king sure. or some other serious guy. He's just kind of acting as the top of the current city military, which is sort of rolling over the... I, I say some rude, flippant comment. Like, this is obviously above your pay grade. I'll discuss it with your superiors. Great. Like, so, uh, what, what, uh, what's your role in all this, Catman? Kill as many of them as I can. Break the blockade get paid at any point at any point were you planning on letting us know that you were coming along i say this to the cat and the lieutenant like this feels like useful information told for you us to have three days ago in the road i'd go with whichever side paid better the side pays better i say how much did the black hand offer you he smiles doesn't reply he says, I'll see you on the other side, Lieutenant. I'll meet you guys at the fort when you get there. He pats him on the shoulder and heads off. I, I walk back to... Um, he, actually to heads, he actually heads towards the center of the city. Rather okay. than presumably... I mean, there's like 45 minutes left. He's not walking towards the field. He's walking towards the city. Sure. I run. Also, I, your camera's I, back off again, Kiwi. Oh, God damn it. Whatever. <laughs> I, walk, I walk back to the group, and I'm like, so... How do you guys feel about getting some more cat jerky? Cause cat's back. And I don't trust that asshole. Why would you not Appar- trust that asshole? Apparently he's gonna help us storm the thing. That, what, okay, so why would you not trust him? Cause he's an untrustworthy asshole. Trust me. I know a thing or two about this. Oh, actually, you're, you're so, so 
Can I roll? Can I like think back and like roll a sense motive or something? Because I feel like that would be a relevant thing. Sure. I just don't know if I've I done mean it. you can't sense it actively. Like you can't retcon it, but you can sense motive now on what he said to you. See, you know, kind of mm -hmm. how what kind of feel you had about what he said. Sure, sure. Let, let's do that. Sure. Let's do that. It's because it's better than nothing. Yeah. I think that's. I think. It's I mean, it's up to you, right? Like you can always just decide that. This is how you feel about the situation. Or you can roll a sense motive and I can tell you how your character feels about the situation. Um, oh, that's I actually mean, a plus. It's a plus 13. I lie. I don't know. That's so high. Damn. That's because you're a high whiz character. With so a, it's a, a plus 30. Character. Yeah. So the cat to you seems... I mean, he's a merc, essentially, right? Like he yeah. gets paid to do a fucking job and he does that job. He talked to you guys before and said that he gets paid to go. The reason he was in the arena wasn't for glory or anything else. He just liked the money. Um, and yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's, he's kind of just a fucking mercenary. Presumably, if he is getting paid, he has an interest in making this succeed because otherwise he won't get paid. I don't know if that makes him necessarily trustworthy, but, mm. you know. So I say to them... You don't get the feeling my, that he's going to die for the cause. Let's put it that my, way. My, my concern is that maybe the cat's <laughs> double dipping over here. getting Trying to get paid from both sides. Could do. So, I don't know. That's my thoughts. Keep an eye on that cat. Yeah, and you the you basically feel is, like his allegiance lies with the money. Wherever the money yeah. is that involves him being alive and having that money, that's where his allegiance lies. I also say, and if we kill him, he's probably got a lot of money also true just saying presumably if he just carries it around uh, because he needs pocket money yeah i feel like if we're already killing 250 people i don't want to also during that time we have to be so, killing yeah but here's the thing cat. one of the better like gladiators genius. that you've bumped into maybe monster cat is the one killing 200 people maybe monster cat is slightly tired then maybe we kill monster cat yeah, but but let, let's just, worry about it just after something we kill all 250 other people. Well, I feel like we should worry it when, worry about it when it's clear that we're gonna win, and then maybe, you know, maybe, maybe <laughs> when it's clear we're gonna sure. win against the 250 people in the fort. All right, that's our one. We're gonna take a break, and when we come back, we're gonna engage in by far the most well thought out plan of all time. Uh, we'll I be... summon an octopus. <laughs> we'll be back in five minutes. Also, Kiwi's cam will be fixed, I promise. Bye. Mm -hmm.